What is up, everyone? How is everyone doing this fine morning? It is, for some reason I want to say October, but it's February 6, 2023, in the Big Bear, California area. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, let's see what's going on here. 23 degrees, 737. So this is our little aftermath video. Just to show you guys what last night brought for us. I mean, they were correct. It was just a dusting. Like, literally a dusting. Uh, hey, if you guys enjoy what I do, please, please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I don't get any sleep during this season at all. I work my butt off for you guys. It takes two seconds to click that like button. Because it really helps me out. Um funny enough like for years and years I have lots of channels that I watch all the time and I haven't hit like or subscribe so I just started doing it hoping that that the karma would come and hit me too <laughs> you know it was really easy anyway I'm tired 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 but it's good to see you guys today Congratulations again to the three winners. Mike Carilla, uh, Fuchs Forever, and Mountain Prairie West. You guys rock. Super, super, super honored to be able to do that for you guys. And uh, I want to do a lot more of that stuff for you guys. A lot more. <sighs> I really wish I could have given given all of you a $50 gift card. like that snowfall is on and it's showing well about 20 minutes ago it showed during the day one to three inches and at night one to three inches but now it's showing during the day snowfall less than an inch and then at night one to three inches but that's so far away guys it'll change I guarantee you it'll, it'll definitely change and then at the oh this is new this is new on the 19th and 20th, I, gosh, I, I, I can't believe we're getting that, that close to the end of the month. On the 19th and 20th, it's showing we've got rain and snow. On the 19th, not really any accumulation throughout the whole day, morning or night. And then on the 20th, it shows one to three inches at nighttime with just scattered rain and snow showers during the day. land like this just a beautiful place Oh, 
Oh, I mean, I really wish that place didn't price gouge you. Oh, I'm speaking for every place up here <laughs> when there's snow. Uh, that place, I've always wanted to stay there. And as I said, just like two two seasons ago, even last season, I think there were rooms there um, during the off period, like not peak Friday, Saturday nights, but during the off period, it was uh, like 300 bucks a night, 250. Why am I going this way? No, I have no idea, but we are gonna, because we're going around the lake right now. Cause it's just too beautiful of a day. Yeah, it's such a bummer. As I told you guys, that place, the club, was trying to charge like a thousand bucks to eleven hundred bucks a night uh, on a Sunday night and a Monday night. Each night, you guys. So it would have been twenty two hundred bucks. And that's not including the fees, all the resort fees and double resort fee, <laughs> um, the breathing fee, the bringing a suitcase fee, the toothpaste and toothbrush fee as well. The walking up their staircase fee. It's crazy the fees they charge up here. Crazy. So here's one of those paid snow play areas, you guys. This is a fee worth paying though, right here. And they have a little roller coaster called the mine shaft. As I said, that's worth paying. Maybe then I maybe I just don't understand. Maybe once I'm a like a hotel owner up here or something like that eventually, maybe I'll understand what has to happen. But as I said, there were a couple other hotels that I looked at rooms for like Sunday and Monday night last weekend. Last week and uh, I found one that was like 180 per night each night for the for the two nights but then the total was a thousand dollars because of all the extra stupid fees they charge just ridiculous like just ridiculous It's so beautiful up here, you guys. They just make these fees up out of thin air. It frustrates me because I want you guys to come up here and enjoy yourselves. Not have to like rob Peter to pay Paul. Go into your 401k just to stay at a mediocre hotel in Big Bear. And mediocre might be stretching it. It's early, I'm frustrated, I'm tired. But this is beautiful, I am excited about this, you know? I mean, it's literally a dusting of snow, but even a dusting transforms everything. Follow this person. I like their idea.
everyone behind us is passing too. <laughs> I gotta say, I like seeing the school bus driver not actually speeding. Those people, man, scare the crap out of me up here. I've been flipped off a couple times by the school bus drivers up here. It's crazy. No joke, you guys. Been literally flipped off by the school bus driver. And I know you would think, wow, you really had to be, be doing something really irritating to, to cause that, but... I mean, maybe I was, but I don't, I don't think I was. Boulder Bay, oh, it's gorgeous. This, this lake is so pretty, you guys. We live in a really gorgeous place. And trust me, if I was doing these videos in my hometown of Newport Beach, it, I'd be saying how expensive and how much of a joke it is, too. But at least those amenities in Newport are worth it, though. So the further we go this direction, the more snow we're gonna come into. We're entering the snowiest part of the valley. I always try to remind you guys, because if you ever do rent an Airbnb up here, because there aren't any hotels from here on out, um, here on towards the village, or t towards the dam, it's really, really, really early for me. Um, then you wanna rent an Airbnb, when you look at a map, closest towards the Big Bear Dam, primarily on this side close to the dam on the other side of the lake's fine too but this side you'll get more snow Hopefully everyone's having a good day, good morning, a good start to your day. This probably won't be uploaded until probably 9.30 or 10 o'clock. I was hoping it would be still snowing a little bit, even though they said it wouldn't at this time, so we could do a live feed for you guys, but no. It's not happening. No, it's not happening. to the dam.
Beautiful lake view. Oh, I love this. Wish we would have gotten up a little bit earlier to catch the sun rising, but this, but this is okay. We'll take this. It does look like the lake has risen a few feet, guys. So that's a beautiful sign. Beautiful sign. It's still mighty chilly outside. Mighty chilly outside. <laughs> it just turned from 28 to 29 degrees, but it feels a lot colder than that. It really does. Beautiful time to be driving right now. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous time of day. That's 30 degrees out here. Oh, look at that, though. Look at that. Really 
really is incredible, you guys. We're coming up to the eagle habitat as well, where our beautiful bald eagles of Big Bear live. Here's the eagle habitat. I, I, I don't know which tree it is, but I'm sure they keep it that way so so people don't go in there and try to find the eagles. But that's pretty cool that that's where the eagles from Big Bear that are seen from all over the world are located, right in that little tiny area. All right, we are in Fonsian. down to 29 degrees this is where we are at we're just gonna go around the lake and head back to the homestead out of there but it's still frozen but I said my friend that owns the shop up here like I'm just really shocked that he didn't give me the zero degree windshield wiper fluid but I told him I need it to be driving in these storms he gave me the one that freezes at 32 degrees <laughs> anything done right in this town you got to do it yourself but I guess that's basically anywhere I wish all of you guys lived up here with me I wish each and every single one of you lived in my house with me all 15,000 of you so much fun. But I 
I'm telling you, I love the way the roads look when they're co just completely covered in white. to see what the temperature is going to be today. Was it going to get fairly warm? Let's see. Let's see. <coughs> no. It's going to get up to 37 today, but then tomorrow 45 and then the next few days after that in the low 50s. You guys want to get up here like today to have that winter feeling. Otherwise, you're gonna have to wait a few days. Let's see. Saturday and Sunday, so it's supposed to be getting up into the 50s for most of the week. Then come Saturday and Sunday, we're supposed to be in the low, The okay, so uh, Saturday, 42, Sunday, 37, Monday, 38, and Tuesday, 38 with snow and Wednesday 35 with nothing. Thick Bear Discovery Center. We need to do a nice video in there. I hope they would let me go in there and record. I hope they would. Just to give you guys a little more interest in this place. Oh, I just love this view here. The ski resort right in between the trees with a little bit of the lake in the background as well I mean guys it really is such a beautiful place <clears throat> once again you guys if you guys truly truly do enjoy what I'm doing please hit the like and subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos because I do not miss any snowstorms and I know there's a lot of big bear fanatics there really are I'm one of them, but I know there's a lot of you guys out there. Um, I had a few friends who would, every time it would snow, they would find some way to call in sick to work <laughs> from from Newport Beach, from Orange County, to call in sick and, and get their butt up here to come, come snowboarding. I don't condone calling in sick. We should all be very grateful when someone hires us and expects us to be there. We should never call in sick when we're not sick, but this is Big Bear. And you gotta do that to call in Big Bear. Especially during the week, you guys. If you guys wanna come up here and enjoy a really great time without all the crowd, coming up here during the week is prime time. Okay, we're at Stanfield Cutoff. We are gonna hang a Roscoe here. then we're coming up to like one of my favorite lake views. I wish they didn't put this this like big guardrail and divider in, in in between the sidewalk and the road because it just kills the lake view from from the vehicle a little bit. But here we go.
right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me this morning. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's back up to freezing now. And this is where we're at. We're at, the, we're at one end of the lake right now. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today. Hope those of you who are coming up get up here safe and sound. And uh, please send me a message, those of you who are coming up, to let me know you made it here safely. It's really important because once again, with, without you guys, none, none of us get to live here. You know, I, I care an awful lot about you guys. I care an awful lot about you guys. I don't want anything to happen to you guys. Have a great day. Like and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys later. It's February 6th, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. Just after 8 a.m. Later, guys. Love y'all.